Hello Year 9, I'm here today to talk to you about Enterprise and Marketing, which is a Cambridge National Level 1 and Level 2 equivalent course. That means you can get the full range of GCSE grade equivalents from this course. It's a course that's run by OCR, that's the exam board, um, and Mrs Ashley and I are going to tell you some more exciting information about it now. Hello Year 9, Mrs Ashley here. You might well be thinking what a vocational course is. This means it relates directly to an area of employment, and in this case, it's the world of business and marketing. The beauty of this course is that you can control 50% of your overall mark by completing two items of coursework. They can be submitted, redrafted, resubmitted, after advice from Mrs Frost or I. The other 50% of the mark is gained from a written exam that you do towards the end of year 11. So, if you see yourself as the next Lord Sugar, Richard Branson, James Dyson or Simon Cowell, then this course could be for you. So what will you learn on this course? Well, it's made up of three units. The first one, Enterprise and Marketing Concepts, is all the background information and it makes up 50% of the course and that is tested by an exam. The second unit is a real hands-on opportunity to get working on designing a business proposal. Um, the exam board set a proposal and you will produce a um, document of work on it. The third unit is all about marketing and pitching a business proposal, a fantastic opportunity to develop your communication and presentation skills. You might be asking yourself, what will lessons look like? Well, you'll be working alongside other budding entrepreneurs who've picked the subject because they're interested in it and excited by it. Lessons are based in an IT room. Coursework is produced on the computers in there. You'll also have group discussions that will take place on interesting case studies, such as the rise and fall of Jamie Oliver's restaurant group. The coursework is broken down into manageable chunks using a range of different small assignments. If you enjoy completing coursework and want to be in control of 50% of your mark before sitting the final examination, then this course could be for you. We're now going to go on to explain the course in more detail. So Unit 1, Enterprise and Marketing Concepts, underpins the other two coursework units. It's worth 50% of the total award and is assessed by an external exam, which you sit in January of year 11 and can resit in June of year 11 if you haven't reached your target grade. There are six learning objectives and within this unit, you explore factors and considerations that need to be taken into account when starting up a business. You look at how to attract and retain customers and what makes a product or a service financially viable. There are some elements of maths required for this unit. Unit 2 is one of the coursework components of this course. You'll be involved in designing a business proposal which is set by the exam board. This makes up 25% of your overall grade. This year, year 10 students are involved in designing a pizza. Previously, students have designed hats. The, the exam board sets a new topic each time. You'll produce a proposal explaining who your customers might be, identifying the market research that you might use, and outlining how you might plan to advertise your product to your customers. Then you need to calculate the costs, consider pricing strategies, and then finally, you'll determine whether or not your proposal is a realistic one. Unit 3 again counts for 25% of your overall mark and it's coursework based. It's about pitching your business proposal, just like you would on Dragon's Den. You plan a pitch for your product and then you present it to a group of business experts. Hopefully they won't be dragons and they'll be kind with you. It's a really exciting part of the course and it's an opportunity for you to really develop your presentation and communication skills within this unit. So why wouldn't you want to do this course? There's stretch and challenge throughout levels one and two, so it suits the ability levels of all students. You've got the opportunity to be assessed over the two years and you can control 50% of your mark through coursework. There's a wide variety of business related courses and employment to move on to and you're developing skills that are needed in the workplace. This course isn't just for those who want to study business studies post 16. 
It provides you with many key transferable skills, such as preparing and delivering presentations, interviewing techniques, the ability to collect data and analyze it, the ability to research and report right, and also gets you into your designing skills and creative thinking. This is essential if you want to be a budding entrepreneur. This course complements many other GCSEs, including DT, ICT, Maths, Food and Media. It's also an ideal course for those people who want to go on to study either at A level or at a level three qualification in one of our post 16 providers. Thank you for listening. To find out more, speak to me, Mrs Ashley, or me, Mrs Frost.